Good morning, students. Welcome back to session six. I am Vinod Siddhanar, assistant professor, Department of Computer Science, subject Computer Fundamentals for BA, BSc, and BCom students. And this is for third semester, which will come under Vijayanagar Sri Krishna Devaraya University, Ballari. So, before starting with this session, we will start with the as the routine we will start with a recap so in the previous class we discussed about the classification and types of computers and the classification is based on size type and purpose so we have seen all those classification with the examples right next we will start with the today's session now topic is fundamental block diagram of computer right so in this class we are going to learn about fundamental block diagram of a computer that means how a computer look like with a block diagram right at the end of the session you will be knowing how a block diagram of a computer can be drawn and how, what is the working of it and what are the its working what are the its what are its responsibilities for each unit right so we will start with the topic now this is the block diagram of a computer so this consists of mainly four units first one input unit second output unit third memory unit and the fourth one is cpu unit cpu means central processing unit central processing unit so i will first explain the how it is it will work now for example we will take the input from the input unit that input may be taken from any of the input devices like keyboard mouse joystick and stylus we will learn in depth about all these input unit in the upcoming classes but for right now just think that these are just a input devices which will allow user to input any kind of data to the computer now say we will press some keys or numbers from the keyboard that will be taken as a input that will be taken as a input and it will you can see here this arrow mark this arrow mark means it is a sending data from input unit to cpu unit so in the cpu cpu unit whenever and data any data for calculation purpose or some processing purpose that input will be taken from the input unit so input data is will transfer from input unit to cpu that is central processing unit whenever that data reaches the central processing unit based on the user requirements for example user may give the computer to for calculation or he may give for some typing or he, he may use for use it for storage right he can send any kind of data to the computer so first what the data will be analyzed in the central processing unit it will be analyzed in the central processing unit so that it will decide what kind of data is that whether we need to perform some calculations or whether we need to store the data or whether we need to do some typing work right so based on the user input it will be taken to the control unit for example now we will take the numbers for example 2 plus 3 2 and 3 the numbers will be taken from the input unit and it will send it to the control unit in the control unit it will analyze that that numbers needs to be added so for that addition purpose it will send these, those data to the arithmetic and logical unit arithmetic and logical unit will do the calculation and send it back to the central unit and that central unit will just then display with the help of output so this is one of the example how the computer will work on some data 
if user want to input some other data for example he want to he want to fetch something from the he want to fetch something from the memory unit right then that signal will be taken from the mouse from the input unit to the central control unit that control unit will send it to the arithmetic unit here we are not performing any arithmetic or logical operations then that signal will be sent to the memory unit for fetching the data it will fetch the data from the main memory unit and it will give it back to the arithmetic unit or alu unit then that will give it back to the control unit then control unit will decide it to send it to the output device to be shown on the monitor right those will be shown on the monitor or if you want to take the print out then print that will be shown that will be uh, send it to the printer so that we will get the print out of that material or you you can also see that output in the projector also right so this is how the block diagram of computer will work now right so these are the some of the input unit example and these are the some of the output unit examples and these are some of the examples for memory unit that is primary secondary fixed and portable we will learn or we will learn more about these input memory and output unit in the coming classes so hope you understood about the flow of this diagram or a di flow diagram of computer now we will see each unit in depth right that is input unit central processing unit output unit followed by memory unit total four unit that the block diagram of computer is consisting of let's move on to the next slide that is the block diagram of computer mainly consist of four unit as i have say i was saying it consist of four unit mainly first one is a input unit second one is central processing unit that is cpu as you have seen this in the cpu so cpu consisting again divided into three parts that is arithmetic and logical unit you can see here arithmetic and logical unit and control unit control unit also will be there within the cpu and the register unit register unit also will be available within the computer next is memory unit and followed by the output unit now we will see the input unit in detail so input unit input unit is an external device that is connected to the cpu as i was saying the it is these are some external devices like keyboard mouse joystick these all are external devices that are connected to the computer right so it used to feed the data as i was explaining in the block diagram those input devices are used for feeding the data to the computer or you can give the data to the computer and the data now computer kododakke we will use the input unit and it may be data or it may be some instruction data may be in terms of file instruction may be in terms of addition subtraction or multiplication or any other operation for solving some particular problem at hand right next is the control unit sends signal to this unit to receive the data and instruction from the user you can see here this control unit send the signals to this unit input unit for taking the input from the user for in some cases the it will allow us to input the data to the computer so the control unit sends the data signals to the unit to receive the data and instruction from the user so some of the examples for input unit are keyboard mouse microphone joystick light pen and optical scanner so these are the some of the examples for input unit now we will move on to the next unit that is 
सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट द मेन नाउ आई विल नॉट एक्सप्लेन द द यूनिट्स कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट आई विल जस्ट एक्सप्लेन द वॉट आर द फेजेस दैट आर वॉट आर द ऑपरेशन इट इंक्लूड्स टू परफॉर्म परफॉर्म दैट इज फर्स्ट फेज इज इट फेचेस द इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द मेमरी एज यू कैन सी हेयर इट इज फेचिंग द इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द मेमरी नेक्स्ट डी कोडिंग द इंस्ट्रक्शन टू डिसाइड वॉट ऑपरेशन टू बी परफॉर्म यू कैन सी हेयर इन द अर्थमेटिक और लॉजिकल यूनिट इट विल डी कोड द वॉट टाइप ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन और डाटा नीड्स टू बी परफॉर्म दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट डी कोडिंग द इंस्ट्रक्शन टू डिसाइड वॉट ऑपरेशन नीड्स टू बी परफॉर्म नेक्स्ट एग्जीक्यूटिंग द इंफॉर्मेशन दैट मीन्स इट विल परफॉर्म और इट विल कैलकुलेट द इंस्ट्रक्शन नेक्स्ट स्टोरिंग द रिजल्ट बैक टू द मेमरी यू कैन सी हेयर इट इज अगेन स्टोरिंग बैक टू द रिजल्ट टू द मेमरी राइट सो दीज आर दी सम ऑफ द ऑपरेशन विच आर परफॉर्म्ड बाय द सी पी यू फर्स्ट वन फैचिंग इंस्ट्रक्शन फ्रॉम द मेमरी नेक्स्ट डी कोडिंग द इंस्ट्रक्शन टू डिसाइड वॉट ऑपरेशन नीड्स टू बी परफॉर्म नेक्स्ट एग्जीक्यूटिंग द इंस्ट्रक्शन टू कैलकुलेट और टू प्रोसेस द डेटा नेक्स्ट स्टोरिंग द रिजल्ट बैक टू द मेमरी सो दीज आर दी सम मेन और इंपॉर्टेंट ऑपरेशन इंक्लूडेड विद इन द सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट राइट नाउ वी विल मोन टू द नेक्स्ट यूनिट दैट इज इन द सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट वी हैव टू इट इज अगेन डिवाइड इन टू टू यूनिट फर्स्ट यूनिट अरेथमेटिक एंड लॉजिकल यूनिट दैट इज ए एल यू अरेथमेटिक यूनिट वी विल अगेन डिवाइड दिस इन टू टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स अरेथमेटिक यूनिट एंड लॉजिकल यूनिट वट नाउ वी विल सी द वॉट आर द ऑपरेशन दैट आर परफॉर्म्ड बाय द अरेथमेटिक यूनिट arithmetic unit is a part of cpu as we have seen here arithmetic unit is a part of this cpu that performs only arithmetic operations on the data arithmetic operations may be that can be addition addition subtraction multiplication or division so main operation of arithmetic unit is it will perform only arithmetic operations on the data provided by the user andre user yav tara input kodtarla aa data mele this unit only perform the arithmetic operations next one is a logic unit logic unit is a part of cpu means it is also part of cpu logical unit it is a part of cpu so this will perform only logical operations on the data for for example there there are some data that needs some operations more than arithmetic operations it needs to be performed some logical operations there needs to be some logical thinking for some operations that operations are performed mainly by logical unit so these are the operations of arithmetic unit and logical unit next is central unit you can see here that is also part of cpu central unit right central unit the main operations are central unit is an important component for cpu that controls the flow of data and the information you can see here this is a central unit so that it will you can call it as a supervisor which controls the flow of data from the input as well as the arithmetic unit or logical unit or memory unit as well as output unit this is the main component that controls or that supervises the operations of input output and memory unit so we, we can call it as a control unit is an important component of cpu that controls the flow of data and information it it maintains the sequence of operations being performed means it is the main operation of control unit is it will maintain the sequence of operation when the user needs to be input the data or when the logical unit needs to be performed or when the that output needs to be shown in the output unit 
that all sequence of operations are maintained by the central processing unit of control unit right so this is the main operations of control unit next is resistors there are some resistors available within the central processing unit for temporary storage of units storage of some operations for example you can see here cpu contains few specific purpose temporary storage unit known as resistors so these are used for only operations purpose for example whenever some operations or some calculations is needed at that time of point these resistors are used for storing the result or for storing the or for or performing the calculation at a faster speed means it will hold the instruction data or result for faster access of the other units for example whenever input unit send some unit send some instruction to the computer to perform some operation then that will not directly store to the memory it will be stored in the resistors so those resistor will take that input and they will store at a temporary memory temporarily they will store that data and the, the result will be performed using that data only or that resistor only and again that results will be given to the output and if needed if needed that resistor will be stored or that resistor data will be stored in the memory and they will those resistor will automatically clear themselves for availability of next operations and when the operation aad mele a result output output alli show aitu antandre athwa a output namda secondary memory alli store aitu antandre that result that resistors will automatically clear themselves for availability of next operations right these are the operations of resistors next is memory unit memory unit is again divided into two units that is memory unit main memory unit and cache memory the operations of main memory are the main memory is referred to to and the as the internal memory or primary memory of the computer it is also known as random access memory so just for for time being you just know that this is this is a main memory of the computer known as random access memory which will store the uh, store the data temporarily or this is used mainly for starting of the computer or running the instructions or processing the data so this is enough just for now because we are learning in deep in the next upcoming sessions so this is these are those are the operations and this is a random access memory next is cache memory you can see this cache memory within the memory unit also this cache memory is very small fast and expensive memory and it stores the copies of data that needs to be accessed frequently that means in cache memory whenever you perform some operations or some perform some calculations that will be temporarily that will be temporarily stored or stored in the these cache memory for fast access of the user and right yavaga adu na calculation madidvi antandre that will be stored within this cache memory also main memory but in main mem from the main memory if you want to access that data that will take that take more time but in, with the help of cache memory you can access that data very fastly so so only the it it stores the copies of data that needs to be accessed frequently for the from the main memory right these are the operations of cache memory next is that is output unit as you have seen in the final stage that is output unit you can see here this is the output unit so we will see the operations of output unit now this is used to display the results obtained after the execution of the program right from the input device we will take the input from the central processing unit we will process the data 
but for, from the output input you can expect the result of that executed result for example that process data or executed program will be shown or displayed on the sum of the output units so whenever the user want to output from the computer the control unit sends the signal to it to this unit to be displayed to accept the process data from the memory to display the unit you can see that here whenever any input output needs to be shown in the in these kind of output output unit the control unit will send the signal to some of these output unit to display the processed data which was processed or calculated data within this cpu in the monitor or in the printer or in the projector so that is the meaning of this point that means whenever the user want to output from the computer the control unit sends the signal to this unit to be ready to accept the process data from the memory to display it right and these are the some of the examples that is monitor printer speaker lcd display and plotters we will see this examples in depth in the next sessions so now we will see some of the means this block diagram with the help of real images you can see here this is also block diagram of computer with the real images of the computer and some of the computer parts we will start with the input unit of speaker the speaker unit is used to produce the audio from the output so this is used as a output device because it will show it will be it will produce the output from the computer whatever means for example if you want to listen the music that will be shown outputted from the speakers next monitor monitor is also an output device so which will show the processed data or processed calculations from the computer and there is this is the cpu that is system unit which will be consisting of memory unit power supply disk drives or hard drives which were which will be used for the memory purpose calculation purpose all the things will be stored within this uh, computer it, it also holds the cd drives and it also holds the floppy disks and it also holds the ports for flash memory cards or pen drives and it also connects the printers or plotters for printing the output and the mouse and keyboard also will be connected to this cpu right keyboard and mouse also connected to this cpu with the ports right that is usb port or some other ports right and these are the some of the examples for cd drive and these are floppy disk which will be inserted into the cpu cd drives also will be inserted with the help of cd drive floppy disk will be inserted through help of floppy disk drives next keyboard which will be a input device mouse which will be a input device and also microphones for speech means whatever you want to speak that will be stored using the or that will be shown using the microphone so this is a microphone which will be used as a input device see the these are the some of the input device don't worry about the all those in detail now because i will be explaining those these all the input device output device and memory devices in the next classes in detail so hope you understood the concept of block diagram of computer now we will end this session here so in the summary this session in this session we are able to know about the fundamental block diagram i have explained the flow of the block diagram with some examples and also i have explained each unit in detail with example and and it's working also i have explained with the example and we have shown some of the real time 
examples of the parts of the computer or units of the computer with the simple images right so this is the summary now we will move on to the quiz section so first question block diagram of computer consists of dash units that means how many units it consisting of first one option a 1 option b 2 option c 3 option d 4 how many units any guesses right answer is 4 it consisting of four units that is input output cpu and memory unit right next question central processing unit consisting of right options are arithmetic and logical unit registers control unit and all of the above any guesses it consists of all of the above that means central unit will be consisting of arithmetic and logical unit control unit as well as registers in one single unit next question which is a output or input device below first one printer b cash memory c keyboard d lcd monitor any guesses out of these four devices which is a input device so answer is keyboard which is used for inputting the data from the user next is select the output device from the following option a mouse option b main memory option c printer option d joystick find out the output device from these four devices any guesses answer is printer because printer is output it will give you the hard copy of the any processed data so quiz session will end here if you have any doubt or if you want to read more about this concept you can read the computer concept and c programming by pb kotur or computer fundamentals by halkar rachappa thank you for your patience be in home be safe learn digitally thank you